just rocked up here at Wolf 4x4 in North Lakes. It was a fairly lengthy drive for us, but that's all right. We're having the AFN bar put on the today and the winch put in the front as well. So hopefully they can get it done in the day and we can shoot off home so we don't have to come back here, but we'll see how we go. Now that we've got the car back with the bull bar mounted, we are going to fit these Light Force Genesis lights to it. See, it's got installer's hands already. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have baby wipes? I'm getting blood on I think that's alright. So we went on the AFN bar for a number of reasons, starting with the way that the bar follows the lines of the car, so the hoops come right around the headlights without blocking anything, and also the curvature up the front here follows the lines on the bonnet really nicely. We have dual aerial positions, which is great, we can put it on either side. We have a fog light indicator in the same light and daytime running lights here in the bar. And we've also got multiple mounting points for spotties on the front. So the other thing we opted for on the front end was the Light Force Genesis LED light. So these lights offer over a thousand meters at one lux. They're made in Australia and the kit comes with everything that you need to have them mounted in a few minutes. All right, so we're just fitting up these MSA seat covers. These seat covers have been designed specifically for the BT50 and they are airbag compliant. So you see these panels here that will work with the airbags in the car as opposed to generic ones you might buy just from a shop that don't have these panels so they won't work with your airbags as well. We also have lumbar support. Righto, so while Nat's going on with the MSA seat covers, I'm going to make a start on replacing the winch hook here. So we've just got currently the standard cleavers hook that comes on most winches and we're going to replace it with one of these Factor 55 flat links. So what I like about these is it's a fully closed system so it's not like this where you have potential uh, working parts that can fail when you're winching and off-road and stuff like that. This is fully closed, there's no working parts on it whatsoever. It's a lot lighter, it's made of aluminium I think it is, or billet steel, I don't know. Look it up, that'll tell you. Anyway, the biggest thing I like about it is it looks cool. It's going to match the front end of the vehicle. So we've got green recovery points already here on the AFN bar. So by the time we add this, it's going to finish the front off, get all this out of the way so we don't have a rope. Uh, I've never been a massive fan of having the rope sort of sitting down here, because if you go bashing through a bog hole, or even through long grass with sticks and stuff like that, the first thing that's going to get damaged is your Dyneema rope here. So you see with this rope, uh, because it's designed for the cleavers hook, that it's already got your fitting in it. Now, normally what I would do is I've actually got a swaging kit, so we could just, like remove this and then splice the rope actually around this piece here and then it's just a nice tight fit and it just means there's that little bit sort of less movement and everything that's going to occur however just for now I'm just going to stick it in and then later on we'll revisit that and we'll get it fitted up properly. So that's much better looking if you ask me. It's going to sit nice and flat up against there. Like I said, then you don't have a rope hanging down, there's no working part.
Ha vi dig, snart spiller! Okay, so what we're doing here is we picked up this frame. It's actually off of a Hilux, um, so it's second hand. It was made by someone else. Like most people, we don't have an unlimited budget, so we're gonna use something like this, and then we're gonna put the old Pioneer roof rack off the patrol on top of this, which will then allow us to mount solar panels, work lights, all that sort of good stuff. Got a spare tire carrier on the back, two jerry can holders as well. We're gonna get a powder coated by fat coating, so it'll look uh, similar sort of coat to the front bar. So it'll start to actually really fit the aesthetic of the vehicle, what we're going for. It will be a temporary solution long term. We'll put a full canopy, custom tray and everything on. Uh, but for now, we're going to roll with this just so we can get ourselves going uh, with a bit more of a two-ring sort of setup. Uh, mount awnings, all that kind of good gear as well. What I'm going to do first though, is it's already sort of pre-drilled in places. So we just want to make sure everything lines up work out where all the pre-existing holes would sort of line up, drill more if we have to, because then when we send it to powder coating, it'll come back and it'll just go straight on, as opposed to then having to drill holes in fresh powder coating. Well, we're finally starting to make some progress on this BT50 build. We've done the bull bar, winches on, we've got the life force, spotties on, MSA mirrors, MSA seat covers. Uh, other things that we've also done, we've done an EDS. We've also installed a throttle controller. However, we haven't found it that useful yet, so for the most part, it has been turned off. Other things we've done, we've installed an X-Bar tow bar. There was one part incorrect in the kit, so we're waiting on another one from Heyman Reese. Uh, floor mats are in, got to keep the carpet looking like new, especially when you're at the beach and stuff like that. We've also made a start on the tray. We've got our frame measured up. We've got our holes pre-drilled, the Rhino Pioneer platforms on the back of that. So we've started to measure up, make sure everything's gonna fit and started installing a few brackets. There's a couple of things you may or may not have noticed on the BT50 actually. There is a brand new light bar on there. It is yet to be released. It is a new Viper light bar from the guys at Lightforce. So keep your eyes out for that one. It will release very soon. Make sure you're paying attention to social media so you know when that drops. <laughs> 